Okay, we are going to find the domain and the range of this function. We will notice that this right here is a quadratic, right? So the domain is actually really easy because you have no restriction. You have no worry to worry about, seriously. So the domain is just all real numbers for x. That's it, right? Whenever you don't have square roots, whenever you don't have fractions, the answer is just no real numbers. But for the range, you have to be really careful. Notice here we have a negative. So I'll just indicate that right here for you guys. Actually, let me write down the notes for you. When we have f of x, that's equal to, let's say you have the perfect square right here. So I'll put down ax plus b to the second power. And then on the outside, we have the plus c, yeah? Well, here we have a negative because right here, yeah? If this is a negative, the domain is just that, look at the c value, and you put down y is less than or equal to the c value. Why less than or equal to? Because this right here is negative. That means the parabola is actually open down. Yep. So with that being said, you are pretty much good to go. y is less than or equal to. Our c in here is just 2. So that's it.